and to a bit of politics, but still in Delta State. The Governorship Election Petitions Tribunal, sitting in Asaba, has dismissed the petition of the Labour Party candidate, Ken Pella, for abandoning his petition. The chairman of the panel, Justice Chibuzo Ahuchogu, says the petition, petition is incompetent and a flagrant violation of the Electoral Act 2022. Mr. Pella is challenging the outcome of the governorship election in the state and seeking leave of the tribunal to obtain the declaration of Sheriff Oboriwari as governor. Everybody except Sheriff Anoyine, okay? And I think um, Omar Gege had not responded. So at that point, we applied for Petrol hearing. And we came for Petrol hearing three, four times. Yes. OK? But the argument now is that because those other ones have not responded, we should have waited till they finished. Till they finish. Now, that section they are referring to does not say, it does not recognize several respondents. It says, after closing of pleadings of the respondents. So when you have four, five, no, nine respondents, and five of them have responded, and you apply for pretrial hearing, and the pretrial hearing process starts, starts, responses are made, you're saying it's premature? That's how they kill justice with technicalities. All right? We're not going to take this. So you I'm take for us, sir, by appealing the judgment. The, the, appealing the, judgment. Judgment. Okay. The, the application for each dismissal was argued at the last adjournment for failure to apply for pre hearing notice after the filing of all the pleadings by all the parties. So today we are grateful to God and by His grace, the Kempela's petition and Labour Party's petition has been finally buried, it's been dismissed. The, apart from the fact that the petition is ab initio incompetent from the pleadings, so the lawyers also failed to apply for the pre-hearing, the necessary pre-hearing notice. Because the provision of the law is that after the close of pleadings by all the parties in the case, within seven days, the lawyer, the petitioner ought to have applied for the necessary pre-hearing notice, but that they failed to do, basically because they know they don't have a case.